Hey everybody, again here. I just wanted to share with you that now there is no more snow where I live. And before I'm going to, um, what is the balloon room? I just wanted to share the view, how beautiful and peaceful. And it's a nice day, so I have my short leaves. And it's crazy, right? Because just two days ago, we have snow, but not, not right now. So everything melt and I can wait for the summer here. You see, I'm gonna show you the mountains. It's already, let me see, I'm gonna go this angle, but the mountains all the way does white, you see, there's white, still snow there. But um, yeah, I wanted to walk, but it's about to start the, what is, the premiere for the, for the penguin in Spanish. So you can kind of have an idea how is that I'm making the videos, you know, very ahead of on time. So I feel more relaxed. So they are, I'm sure for that every Mondays and Wednesdays there's our premieres, you know, new design, new tutorials. Now, right now I'm gonna work on uh, Kung Fu Panda. I don't remember the name of the panda bear. <laughs> sure, right? I know it's, it's Jack Black, right? The, the actor, but um, I'm gonna see what happens. So I'm sure if you're watching this already, that means I got inspired and you are gonna see a very cool tutorial. Okay, okay, I'm getting inside the balloon room now. Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm gonna to show you a very cool design. This design is in a specific character. Now we're gonna make some modifications. I have two first attempts and I think I can rescue something. So I'm gonna show you. That was my main influence, Google Clip Art, the Kung Fu Panda, that I still don't know. It's just Kung Fu Panda. I guess that's what I'm gonna call him. But I have a name, right? And I don't remember. Huh? Well, um, so that's the design. And I'm trying to make it cool, fast, cute. That the sharp time is gonna be kind of, it's kind of hard, but I think I have an idea. It's more separated, it's gonna be easier. Um, I want to make sure uh, to dedicate it to Thomas McNulty, and also I have a package. So at the end of this tutorial, if you stay here, uh, I have uh, a package that I want to open it with all of you. Well, I cannot open it, but I want to show you. I want to show you what is in here. And this came all the way from, I think, Texas. Yeah, San Antonio, Texas. From Jody Robbins. Thank you so much, Jody Robbins, for sending this package. I will share it uh, and show what is in here inside at the end of the video. So stay tuned. This is going to be a very cute design. Remember, specific characters. What happened with the specific characters? Take time. But that's good because I'm going detail by detail. So, first attempt. Ta -da -da -ta -da 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 Something cute, adorable, easy. I think it is easy. I like the arms. It's kind of like a baby panda, right? And the pants, that's kind of the whole thing. The rest is all, so can be a regular panda, but you just put some brown for the legs. Um, I think it's adorable, I think it's cute. I'm gonna show you the back. Uh, that would make kind of like, what is that, right? So I always tell you, for me, the front is the most important. <laughs> you see? So it's cute, it's easy. Now, this design is kind of the, the baby idea. You can see it, the baby idea from Juan Gonzalez, kind of, right? Uh, but the head, I'm making it with a linking balloon. And yes, you can make it with a five inch round totally cool but in order to touch the ears this is kind of a fast way and then also i'm thinking to make the the belly of this character if i if i can i will make it also um thinking of a linking balloon too now if you don't have linking balloons it's okay play with balloons 350 because that's another cool way you want you know some areas to be bigger now from here now look at this also other technique and and this is kind of like he's more into this, this that position, you know. Arms are cross, you know, crossing the arms, and um, then the belly is so cute and this is chubby, and I love this part. Then from here, that's it, you know. I don't go farther because it's all representation. So I like this idea. I'm gonna make sure I fix some things, okay? Maybe add the hair from the other one, so. You know, adding the head of the the head of the other one, and let's see what happened, okay? But I like how it's looking this part, okay? In proportions, 
I like this part chappy and then this part maybe we can make it bigger the hair but it's not that big actually the bell is much bigger than the hair if you see check out the cartoon or at least something like similar mm, arms if you see it kind of give us attitude right he's like crossing, crossing his arms that's the idea it's all representation don't forget that it's like why is it like where is that fingers where is that elbow exactly <laughs> It's just representing, and that's how we represent crossing arms. Um, let's do this again. I just boom, turn the camera on, and if I keep trying and trying more different ways, there is always more different ways, but then I'm going to end up with a headache, and I don't want headaches. <laughs> I think this is what it is, and then from here, you explore your creativity and just grab the best ideas that you can okay let's start it how let's see how it's gonna look good thing editing makes things super awesome so you will see the design already there but in my case i don't know i'm like making this without knowing exactly how it's gonna look at the end so that's cool right okay first of all how i make this remember if you don't have round balloons or linking balloons you can always play with the idea of 350s or 650s if you want you know this bigger this roundish part this is a five inch round split it in half uh this is a linking balloon the head is split it in half pretty much and this is the same it's a linking or or it can be a roundish balloon but i think linking okay and again if you don't have linking it's okay play with what you have um let's start it let's see i'm gonna just have it here as my uh an idea and i will already dedicated right thank you so much judy robbins for sending the package and and i know uh thomas mcnulty you suggested the idea and i think yes it's a cool idea to make this panda because the movie just was released and it's still always you know maybe it's part four or part five i don't know <laughs> it's a cute movie it's have already three movies i think right okay linking let's blow it if you don't have link in play with you know bigger size okay that's it <laughs> inflate it and then loose the air making something runnish and then tie it close to the nozzle this is gonna how big this is like a four inch uh round okay four inch round approximately or 4.5 something like this as bigger bigger is gonna look now when you tie it close to the nozzle you're gonna squeeze your up and then you're gonna kind of like twist it this part like this so this is gonna be the front, this is gonna be the back. Now you twist, 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 and then close it. Okay, so now we, we are starting with the base, but look how, what happened when I close it. I kind of end up with this line. For one reason, sometimes the tip, if this is a linking, you will have a tip and it can already pass a line. Having a line there, it's already a cool connection for a lot of things. So think about that and also makes, you know, this part more roundish, the part in the front, in case you want to make the face roundish, more roundish. I'm going to pass it around and just give it that effect and let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just passing it around, that's it. Now we're going to grab a balloon, um, 260, and this can be, it may look complicated. You say, Cecilia, what are you doing? But pretty much I'm going with the flow and I already kind of understand or feel how balloons can, you know, stay there. So this is going to be an interesting thing and I like it. These ears, I like it, but in this case, I prefer these type of ears. You tell me what do you think? Cecilia, give us time to see. Okay. It's pretty much, you may say, Cecilia, it's pretty much the same. It may, right? But it's not really. And the way I make these ears in some way is a connection in between. And that's kind of like what is helping that little line they're connecting, okay? So I'm gonna start. Uh, first, I remember I also wanted to um, make that part of the head, but it's okay. Okay, let's start it. I'm gonna attach it here, look, in one of the sides. There's attach it there. Then we're gonna already pass a line, pass one entire line all the way there. So then the bubble in the back is gonna look as big as the back, but it's not gonna be all white because you want also black. It's already black coming out, you know? So just pass it, okay? And then you can always, what is the word? Um, roll it, you know? You can always roll it and it may be tricky, but not impossible, you know? Just roll it and you will have something like this. Look. Okay. 
and I know there is a little tip of the balloon, blinking balloon, and you will be able to do it. Now, this part is going the bottom. So this is the pack. The bottom is black. Okay, now from here, look, I'm gonna just kind of like measure something like a loop there, that later I'm gonna twist it. I'm gonna bend this. So how big is this? It's somewhat squishable and it's approximately like eight finger loop. I, and then here I'm gonna twist and if it, it's easier, I'm gonna make a very soft and squishable bubble, very soft and squishable bubble that I'm gonna make it into a pinch twist. I think that is kind of easier, okay? If you think it's not easy and you think, well, it's easy, it's that complicated, look, you don't have to do it. You just measure a finger long, some very soft and squishable, a squish somewhere here, very soft and squishable, a finger long again, so measure kind of the same, soft and squishable, okay, and then end up here. Look, you're looking right now at the back. Now, this is the front. It looks interesting, right? Like, oh, my I can see a back. So when you are here, grab one of the, the, the parts or, or you're gonna be able to tie it. So you just don't let things escape and tie it. How? Well, you will feel there's tied you know, connections. Okay, so when you are here, we're really gonna cut this and move to the next step, okay? So you're gonna cut it with your cutter. I should have my cutter, but I have one right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Now you still have this excess, uh, so don't get rid of this, just tie it, and let's see what else. Now, you have to think about, do you like it, like the crossing arms, or do you think maybe even if it's more like the character looks like that in that picture, I think it would be better just freehand, so it looks like it's gonna hack. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it look like it's giving a hat. If you want the arms like this, it's very easy too. So I'm gonna show you what I, it's gonna be right now. And then also I'm gonna show you the arms crossing. Here, because I have all this, you just need to make like four finger bubbles, one arm, bubble pinch twist, four finger bubble, bubble pinch twist, and four finger bubble. And this is kind of like interesting because you have this and this is what I do sometimes. I already see it. I have some of this tip. I'm gonna go back. Look, I'm gonna go back. And then this piece is still, you're gonna squish the air. Look how cool. I squish the air and you're gonna end up in the other side. Okay, so now pretty much it's gonna have the same size for the arm. Things that we have to be perfect, but we try and do our best. Okay, so something like that so you have already two arms and part of what is the rest of the body now um what is happening here look at this in a moment you gonna have something pulling down okay and then all this is gonna grab and twist that's kind of in theory is gonna work that's the front that's gonna work in a moment now we need how these two can be connected you will see in a moment it's gonna be Believe it or not, I feel it's gonna be the brown. Now grab another linking balloon. If you don't have linking, grab 350, okay? But I have linkings, so that's why. Uh, maybe with 350 will be easier. And uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Should I go with a 350? Do I have white? I have white 350 and, you know, because this is gonna help the both sides are the same, the back and the front. But if you want more belly, that's kind of the other thing, right? Maybe uh, we can keep going with the black. Cecilia, focus. <sighs> a big belly. Yeah. Let's see. Let's experiment with what I just did. It was the link. So, I know. I'm afraid to mess this already that is looking cute. So look what, it, what it ha I have here. It's like the half and crown for, again, the same size as the head. Uh, you're gonna tie it close to the nozzle. Everything is still the same as the head. You're gonna squeeze the air up. You're gonna kind of have like six finger long and this whatever is there, brownish. And you're gonna attach it. Look, I like the idea that it's connected. So this is another experiment. But if you can already connect it here, then probably make things easier. Look, one of the sides and then the other side is gonna go right here so we're gonna put one that is gonna be the back with the nozzle and then this belly shock here 
it's gonna be right here. Now, what is the effect about doing this? Okay, and this is what I like. I like the red garlic coming out of this. And this is the back. So you have something like this. You're gonna come other things in a moment, but you have something like this. And when you have something like this already, we're gonna need a brown. And the brown is a five inch brown. I know, why is it see that you repeat a lot? <laughs> because I don't want you to miss it up. Thinking, I cannot make this design because I don't have round balloons, brown. But if you have 350 brown, this is the moment, use it. Or 650, or bigger balloons, round brown. Try. You just need to kind of inflate it. This is a round one. Like approximately, what is this? Five, like the palm of your hand. What the size that you can split in half because... It's a five inch around this one, so I'm gonna have to put it in half. It's not gonna be easy if it's too much air. I'm gonna see if I can do it like this. Look where I tied it. Now this time I tied it this part. Not close to the nozzle, this part. Now grab it, I like to grab it like this, and it's, I, I like to feel that it's still soft and squishable, so I can split it in half. And it's kind of the biggest I can use, but at the same time, give me the chance to do this shape, that is split it in half. Uh, so it have two bubbles like this, okay? The idea is they both look, you know, plain like this. But if it doesn't happen, it's okay. Now from here, all this teeth is gonna connect everything. So now let's see. I think I'm doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, I'm cheering myself. Belly, body, puts all the way through. So let's move. Let's keep going up. Okay, and they start giving a pull in, so then it's more connection. Now this part, remember, this goes in the back, head in the front, pass it all the way. And now grab the ears, pull, pass this around, and push, 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 all the way in the center. And when you are here already, just pass it around a couple times. It's gonna stay there and also try to if things are going crazy one side, it's okay. They trying, you know, but the force and balloons is trying to say, say, hey, are you went too, too crazy. Now these ears, let's try and twist them now. And the other ear too, you know, so that way things are start looking better the way you want it. Okay, now let's put things in proper position. Trying to take it to the center. Trying to take it to the way it looks better. So, I'm gonna show you how things are looking. Things are gonna start, you know, getting better as soon as you um, connect it, you know? It's just that that is gonna be the tricky part. Now, from here, we're gonna look at the design and think about what changes we can be giving. But look how cool, it's just adapting. You just have a moment to grab everything and adapt and the forcing the bubbles adapt to the figure and make things super cute. I I love it, I love this big belly. It's a few, it's a few. Now, you have it like this. Tell me, what do you think? What is your idea, uh, if you have more ideas? But I think it's adorable. Look, we have a big head, we have a big belly, and now we have these legs, you know, chubby too, because this is a chubby guy. Now, if you have a 160 brown, great. It's gonna give it more texture here, more, more you know, um, what? more detail <laughs> now let me put this because sometimes i feel like it's are you seeing the meat the same way i'm seeing it or no no um uh, yeah okay so what else from here the 160 brown if you don't have 160 brown go ahead grab your only 260 it's fine i did it the first time with the 260 now i'm gonna check now i have here a brown and it's at 160 deco max or Qualatex or one of them brands. But this is a you know really cool. If you don't have it on hand, doesn't matter. You can always squish a stretch and make it skinnier your balloons. Make two pinch twist. It doesn't matter. It's something that just gonna go around. This is just a last detail. So you put the back, this is the back, grab it there, pass it around, nice and gentle, and twist it. That is just the last detail. Cut the excess. I'm gonna save this for the next design. Uh, Panda that is gonna be on my what? It's gonna be on Spanish, okay? So today you're watching in English. If you wanna practice your Spanish on Wednesdays, it's the premiere. 
for the Spanish versions of every design you are watching. Look at how cute, how adorable, and the tata. Now say silly about the feet, you're forgetting the legs and more detail. This is the thing. I think this design is easier. It is fast. You can make it fast. It has a cool technique. Everything is connected all the way up. Uh, it may be tricky, but it's not impossible. I love how it looks. It looks choppy. And then the details here to add what? A little bit more leg and then a shoe. It's going to make a, something, you know, maybe another level. Another thing I was thinking, you look at your design and then you can make it, maybe just make a black line. It's a representation and that's it. Okay, for this is what I'm gonna do, and it's up to you if you wanna do it. So I just look at the design, and I'm gonna make something like this. Something like this. It's just a representation, and look, just to give it more black that it was there, you know, because these are his pants, or I don't know. But just as a representation, look at that. That's it. It's just an interpretation. It's just a detail if you want. Now, Sharpie time. Make sure you have a good Sharpie because pandas, you know, have an, an interesting face. But I not noticed that this panda bear have one thing. It's the green eyes. So when you make it, make sure you have that detail in order to make that specific character of this panda bear. So you have green eyes. I'm going to grab first black. And, and I'm going to try to make it as separated as possible, okay? Because it's going to be them a triangle idea, kind of roundish, around each of the eyeballs. And you want also to be separated. It looks better. So I'm going to start separated here. One circle and one circle. Look how separated I'm doing it. And make sure you have a good Sharpie. This is the perfect moment to invite you to collaborate and support this channel. How? Sending Sharpies markers, permanent markers helps a lot. Helps a lot because every time, you know, I'm using it. And you too, when you are making balloon twisting, you uh, make sure you get 12 of these. That way, if you are running out, then, the, you know, it's a kind of a bummer when you make a super cool design and then your Sharpie looks like... It's dying there. You know what I mean. So now we're making a circle. Then he have kind of like more eyes like this, like like me, like my eyes, kind of <laughs> like that. Okay, pointy. And that's what you're gonna do now. Pointy and pointy. Okay, look, separated. Now from here. You're gonna make a triangle roundish idea. So it's gonna be triangle, I mean roundish, okay? And that is gonna go roundish, and that is gonna go roundish, roundish, as roundish as possible. That ends in the size too. And now cover everything, cover, 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 and look how even that you made the eyes separated. Look how they are kind of getting closer. So that's kind of the, what you have to consider when you make characters, especially for the pandas. Make it first, the, the, the center separated. It's gonna give us, and make sure you have a good marker. Main, my markers, okay, let me see. Sometimes I just need to keep it, you know, close for a moment, so then they're gonna keep working. But yeah, so then you just cover, make this, better but that's kind of how it goes now from here the nose so okay let's try another one i have here this one a skinny one so it must be good the nose is kind of like triangle but it's straight so look you're gonna have something like this okay something like that and then it's gonna be a smiley face. I'm gonna put it like this, just so, just something like that, and then go with the line. Actually, it's even not that long, but it's okay. It is what it is right now, okay? So that is kind of the idea. You can always cover more black around if you want, but from here, it's coming the idea of 
the green is very important. So everything is done. It looks great. But what it's going to say is, you know, who is this guy? It's the panda. And you're just going to cover Ronish the first one. So now we have his green eyes. And... Okay. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. That is an interpretation. Of course, it's not the same. I noticed that he have even some gestures and you can make it with using your white. I know Cecilia white with white to make some gestures, but it's not necessary. But it has some gestures around to give it more, you know, like for example here, you can make something like this and people is not going to notice, but it can give it a little, maybe it's nothing, right? It's just, I'm trying to kind of, yeah, it doesn't matter. Something to make it, you know, more the details that I see, but it's because if you make it black it's not gonna look good I, th I don't think so so let's keep it like this the design is ready this can be also mixed with green you know the shorts but i think brown is okay look tell me in the comments what do you think now i'm gonna show you the version if it's crossing you know like it's like that how is the difference well you will need an entire balloon 260 or 160 black in order to do this part crossing what happened here is I did um, the head, okay, and then um, here it was two pinch twists, six finger long, another six finger long, two pinch twists, grab a piece of like ten finger long, soft and squishable, and then go back and bend it. Cecilia, what are you talking about? I'm going to show you. I'm having here, and I'd say it was a 160, but it's whatever. I have this. I'm going to show you. And you know what? So I have a black shirt, so I'm going to make it back with another color, okay? With another color, one of my... What color? What color? Let's see. I have here this um, yellow. You think it's a good idea? Yeah, I think yellow is a good idea. So, so you can see how it is to make the, the, the crossing arm. And you can keep it for any other design. You just have an entire balloon for this idea because it's going to be much easier inflated approximately like a seven finger towel you're gonna start with a bubble pinch twist and another bubble pinch twist then measure six finger long that's kind of the pack okay and make another two pin two pinch twists okay then you're gonna go back yeah because you want that to be covered the back that way it have you know more the back like this and then this piece Maybe you just need one, but I'm just making two, and I think it's okay. The things open in a moment, you will see. Um, later, when, you know. <laughs> okay, from here, measure like, kind of like 10 finger long, something like that. Soft and squishable, very soft and squishable. And twist it very well because you need a moment there to connect. It's like a bottom getting there. So then here, you squish and paint like this, like bend it. Twist, connect it here, okay, twist so uh, doesn't escape, and now remember this piece, just connect it to the other side, to the pinch twist, any of those or the two of those. Now, this piece can cut it, you don't need it anymore, and that's pretty much how you are going to make when you want it crossing arms. So then, the whole idea, instead of the arms coming out, is just crossing, like like kind of this okay you got it so then the this is still the same go all the way through here pew, and connect to the ears it is tricky but it's not impossible if you have you know any questions i'm sometimes there and the premiere watching the videos with you so you can send your uh questions or in the comments the main comments later leave your comments with your questions i will try to help and a lot of people watching my videos are more advanced balloon twisters so if you are already you know know what others are asking and i'm not able to reply that soon you can always help replying you know answering you know uh that way we all help each other uh don't forget www.blingblingjam.com is the balloon convention i'm gonna be there this year Woohoo! 2024 and I'm trying to go every year. It's a super awesome convention. I love it. Now, 
I don't know. I want to be able to go every year. But now that I'm going for sure, it's been three years, so I'm very happy. I invited because you can have fun there for sure and you can meet a lot of balloon lovers, balloon, new balloon friends. So that's cool. Okay, let's open the package. Thank you so much, Judy Robbins, for sending this um, box with different balloons. And, and that's cool. I love it. What is this? Jamar. Jamar uh, with uh, linking balloons that are six inch linking balloons so it's interesting i'm gonna open it and, and my first impression so far so good yeah i usually do this what else i do when i have a linking balloon lose the air tie it close to the nozzle push it like this let's see how good it is if i can make bubbles uh, you can twist, you can put it together, you can make shape, yeah, seems like it's working. What else? Uh, you can make the apple twist halfway. This is a cool technique. It's kind of a slipper because I think it's because it has some uh, of the latex. Uh, so you can do apple twist. You know, Jamar are really cool. So I can wait to use these ones for twisting. Sometimes, you know, and this happened that the, if they are too old, it's hard, you know, it, it, it is in the same brand. So make sure you have, you know, fresh balloons. But this one so far kind of have an interesting smell. <laughs> How long you have this balloon, but, but it's still working. So that's cool. Okay, what else? Look at this. This is a very, uh, uh, very a nostalgic brand because in Peru, we, I seen the brand Payaso. Clown, that's the, the brand, Payaso. Uh, these are made in Mexico. And I can't wait to open it and try it because this balloon, in Peru, that was the name, you know, that I remember a brand of balloons. It was Payaso when I was a kid. So look at these interesting shapes. They're like agates, 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 agates. And I'm gonna inflate it and see. Because I'm thinking this can be great for jellyfishes. It can be, wow, look at that. It can be great for octopus bodies, you know, the head. Look at that, wow, it's clear, but it has some melting. Oh, this is so cool, I love it. This is totally jellyfishes. <laughs> I love it, thank you so much. You know, I just, for some reason, because I'm new with this one, I don't know how I can keep inflating. <laughs> Wow, it seems like you can inflate it and it have a lot of more elasticity. I think these are 12 inches round. Um, yes, 12 unicolor. That's cool. That's what I call it. 12 unicolor assorted. Wow, I can't wait to use it. These ones look super cool and they're in different colors. Wow, imagine this for like a zombie face. <laughs> it looks like blood. You can make a lot of cool things. Thank you so much. Now, I thought this was the same, but no, this was other idea that it's a multicolor marble and it's 12, so it's the same idea. And let's let's try it. Let's see how how cool they are. Look. Sometimes these ones are kind of like popping, but not this one. I love it. It makes me nervous because I'm not sure how much or how well it is and I but it feels like it's really good. Wow. These are really cool. So now I know Payaso makes these awesome balloons. Look at the colors. Look at this. Another cool idea for octopus or for, you know, that if you go to the bowling, you know, this can be the ball for bowling. You bowling it, you're bowling. You know what I mean? This is amazing. Love it. So now I have those for, you know, a lot of good ideas. Planets, you can pretend there are planets. Now, but I also have also balloons 260, and this is black 260, and actually they color 270. I wonder if it's because it's longer. My goodness. Johnny, these are really cool uh, to show to everybody else. Let's blow this. Because now they can see. I inflate it all the way. Okay, it looks pretty long. <laughs> Now, let me, I'm gonna prove, I'm gonna compare <laughs> with a regular 260 uh, that I have here. Okay, so um, the ones that I already opened, I'm gonna put this different places. This is the 260 Payaso, or 270. 
and I'm gonna try with a 260 Decomex. Okay, and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna use my electric inflator. And okay, I inflate it both all the way. Ta -da -da -da, moment of the truth. Let's see. Okay. I have to tell you, Decomex says that it's a 260 Decomex and that it needs much longer than Payaso that says that it's 270. Look at that. Now, Decomex, look how more uh, black looks the color than Payaso. So that's something to kind of like, um, you know, to see, right? So now look at the, the difference. It's a big difference. Now, I wonder if... Uh, you know, so there, so you have an idea that shorter one it's a payaso that is supposed to be longer because it says 270 and the longest is Decomex and look, it have a more like dark, it's more black than the Decom, the payaso seems a little bit more kind of like dust or, you know, it's kind of like losing that color black, they're blackish, they're losing the blackish. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but still, let me now try it because I know Decomex, I like Decomex, so let's see Payaso how it is, um, you know, um, that's all, okay, let's see, I'm just scared because I, you know, I don't remember being playing really too so much of this, and because of the picture, you know, it's different, I don't feel really comfortable, but you can make balloons, you can twist, make bubbles, pinch twist, and look, it looks cool. It's a sword, it works. So I think it's cool, I would use it. And actually that sword is gonna be for tomorrow's event. Cause I'm working on pre-twisting. I have tomorrow at a school event. What else is in the box? Because there is more in the box. <laughs> I love when I receive packages and I, that's something I totally appreciate. Thank you so much, Jody. Because I can wait um, to use this. Actually, I'm gonna be making a lot of balloons for today's event tomorrow. I mean, these ones are Payaso again, the brand Payaso made in Mexico, Jalisco. And this one is an assortment of different colors. So, for example, let's see how it is that hot pink, the fuchsia. Let's feel and see, you know. Let's see. Yeah, it's again, it's kind of has something there that uh, reminds me of another brands, you know, like I remember Tilco is another brand from Mexico and it kind of has the same idea that in some moments seems like the color is kind of like uh, losing it for moments, okay? But it's still uh, cool and just... You know, okay, if you compare it to Decomex, you already know. I think Decomex have more of the, the shininess in my... But let's try another color, for example, the green. And the good thing is, guys, it doesn't matter at the end, the brand, if you are starting, you're practicing. Payaso still, you know, a brand that I... Again, I hear this long time, for many years, my whole life. So yeah, this is the green. I still seen some kind of decolorations in the color, you know, it's not like it's all compact green, you know, but it's still okay. Um, so I'm going to uh, save this and, and then there's more, there's more balloons. For example, other type of balloons from Payaso is these that are 50 cans and and it have an interesting shape, like a worm, like it's like a worm. So let's try this other look. These ones um, on Timo also, uh, we found it. So usually when you inflate this type of balloons, you, it kind of inflates this piece first. Let's see what happened with Bayaso. Kind of, right? Look in the middle. <laughs> but yeah, it's a safe idea. This kind of fun. Actually, this is more like a caterpillar, right? Oh man, this is so funny because as if I inflate that one and the bottom. The one at the end. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I can give it more. I'm just always, what's going on? I'm getting too old that I'm too nervous to keep blowing because I want to blow the end. Oh, there we go. Now, these are just fun also to give it to people, give it away. You know, it's time to go. And then you just blow this and the kids are gonna love it because they always want more. They know oh, but one more, I just only have one balloon and one another one. And you have to go give them this and fill it all the way and 
have fun. They love that. Okay, and then it's more payaso, so more black. Oh, this is purple, purple, and pastel for for Easter. So now, you know what? I love the purple I got. Uh, oh, I have to tell you something. I shouldn't use my teeth. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. But this is a scene purple. It's not that easy to find. Like Deco Mex doesn't, doesn't have the purple. So that's called something like this dark. They have lavender. They have other tones, you know, like but soft. Now let's see this one from Bayaso. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, I see. This one is kind of jewel. Okay. But it's still darker. And that's something cool. Now, this is what gets me nervous sometimes. And it happens sometimes like when you play the balloon. Look at the difference. This part is more like oh big than this part. And that made me think any moment this can pop. So mm, but it's okay. It's okay because you're gonna still use it. It's just a see-through. And I don't know if it's gonna pop in a moment, but no, it didn't. So I like it and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it today. <laughs> I'm gonna make lots of balloons pretty twisty. Okay, so that is pretty much all. Thank you so much, Jody Robbins. Thank you because I'm gonna experiment and practice more with payaso for the first time. <laughs> for the first time, because yes, I remember as a kid I seen it, but as a kid I wasn't really twisting this level. So now we're gonna give it a this challenge to payaso brand and see if it works. Uh, but um. Yeah, so this is the design. Thank you all for watching. It's a long video, but really the, the idea if you practice, it's going to be easier and it's good and it's adorable. Now, think about this. Uh, there's coming a video on Wednesday and it's going to be in Spanish. I'm not going to open the package already. I'll open it. <laughs> so uh, you will be able to see it again. And maybe some, you know, things that you couldn't catch in this video, you can probably just by watching, see, you know, other uh, ways how to make this design that is adorable i hope uh you like it uh tommy masnotti thank you for watching the videos even in spanish <laughs> so this is another challenge for you watch it in the spanish version so you can get the best of this design okay, okay. bye bye ciao ciao